and welcome planner friends this is Jan with Jan happy planning thank you for joining me for another video today I have for you the um, last Halloween spread this is my cachot so it's going to go from the 25th to the, to the 31st of October and I have gone ahead already and chosen the um, stickers that I will be using on it. Um, these are all from the Happy Planner um, latest release. Um, I have gathered um, most of it is from uh, the Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I also have uh, taken the, these black cats from the uh, modern meow and i also have open uh, seasonal fall on this um there are two pages well more than two pages um but i'm not sure whether i'm going to i kind of like this happy halloween but um i might use this for accents i might use i'm not sure about these uh, washi strips um maybe boo and spooky um the ghosts um they're slightly different from the ones here uh but i will see whether i want to use those there is no or well there is very light orange here so um let's see whether i can combine that into it and uh, let's get started now i think um i want to use for some reason this green but i don't know <laughs> i'm not terribly sure about it because there is a tiny bit of pink i thought that maybe there's no gold um, there's no real accent of any other color apart from that um, so I'm not sure uh, whether I want to use washi and the other washi is so it's just so different and um, these these strips of washi here but again I don't know um, whether I want to use these I actually might think that I I will be using the uh, the stars because um, there's a certain color for example this one here which is in uh, um, in these two stickers um, which is sort of um, like um, I don't know what you call that so like a brown color it's not really brown it escapes uh, me at the moment. I have used it before. It's it's not really gold, but it's sort of a gold. So I don't know. I quite like the skulls here. So I don't know, but there is um, more colors. I will see. I will see how it looks. Um, also, I don't have a, a specific paper that I would like to use um for these because um just there isn't any so i was thinking that maybe i would use something from here because um there are some cuts um but i think maybe this one because it's slightly black and it, it's really um, getting me out of my comfort zone because I um, I don't really... White is cute on, on these tiny triangles on a white background. It's very cute, but the problem is that, um, yeah, I think I will use this one. And it's slightly thick. But that's okay. Um, sorry about that massive noise. Um, just to give it a little bit of... Um, I think I might actually get away with this side. So I'm going to get ripping on this end. Um, 
I wanted a slight background there because otherwise the house is I don't know it would look weird I kind of like this quite a little bit in there but yeah it's not too bad so what I uh, I normally do now is that I really I cut it exactly by using um, my card line it with this line and then go with this sharp um, blade hopefully I will not cut through the page and then I take this little guy and go first through the edges and then this other edge on the side and then I run inside this line so I might have done too much but it doesn't matter Just put a little bit of glue there, which I have cleaned off. And I'm hoping this time, because my, my last video was so, so long, that um, it's going to be less. That's why I've already... Um, I take a long time actually um, gathering the stickers. So I know it's clear, and I will probably have to unfortunately, yes, because these lines are going to come through. So at least this one. Uh, this house is not really straight so that's okay actually I don't know um, I think I'm going to place this house um in a sticker label and I'll be back with you in a minute so I'm back and I have just used a sheet of um, label paper now the cutting is not perfect but um, I'll see what I can do um, I just want, I don't want it to look too squinty. Oh, very difficult, very difficult. So I think there, this should be okay. So it has gone a little bit. I put it probably too far down, but that's okay because I don't want to lose too much space up here. Um, I might go around this white bit with my um, with my micron uh, zero one and just refine those edges. And I want to put this Happy Halloween right here. Now that's the thing. 
I have already cut. I borrowed this um, idea from uh, Michelle uh, from Plan On It. She did this with one of her um, um, spreads recently um, where she used strips of these. So this might be my actual washi because I don't know about this guy. I will still try it on as an accent for um, my um, the boxes, which I will be using probably uh, colorful boxes if I run out. I think I run out of um, the ones from the book, which were many anyway. So. Um, oh, don't come out of the black line. There. That's better. This is slightly uh, more sturdy than, uh, than washi, so it doesn't bend as appropriately. And then we're going to use this. and that is that it's not too bad actually i think it's a brilliant idea so thank you so much michelle it's it's great and it looks really nice i have already done the other side so i just have to lift it because it doesn't um because i cut through the whole thing um, which side I want to use, I think, this side. I'm going to use paper on this side as well. Um, the same as on the other side where the house is. So this is going to give us a little frame. Uh, for the top and I will tidy this little thing off Let's see whether I don't cut through not too much but it's it's enough now um this little bit here now we can place happy halloween it will give me enough space for uh, writing something I don't want it to be squint so I need to really see where the two L's fall that's good enough so it gives me a little bit of space for Sunday and Saturday I'll see whether I can uh, match a um, Um, a box um, for okay let's just do I think I'll put this side here so I just need to cut in a straight line okay, so about here side here for the time being I think I want this side 
So I'm going to do as before. I'm going to line with this corner just inside that black line. I almost uh, cut through. Uh, I scored quite a bit. So we're going to do the same here. I prefer looking at where I'm going. So because I, I haven't got the uh, glue pen yet. So um, I um, I don't have how to get those edges down um, properly so they lift so yeah it's not too bad it's actually quite perfect so that's our ground and we're going to I want to put the fabulous here. For my list of the things, because now I have lost a little bit of space during the weekend, I need to list out the things that I need to have done during the week or things that might um, just pop up and have a little. Um, a little note there and then here's my my gang my gang who is on its way to um no okay too many things we need to actually I'm going to have a go. I changed to this thing. Um, it's a new one, as you can see. And I'm trying it out, but I don't want to make too much of a mess. There. It's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. So these little guys are actually around here. Which is, again... Maybe I just use the uh, there and This is from a different sheet, so the black is slightly darker. Okay, so we have, uh, I think I want to put, where do I want to put this guy? Here, it's so skinny that it really looks weird, doesn't it? I think I put it here. I'll find a way. And for Monday. Let's do Wednesday for a change. We're going to do it quite in the middle. And 
this. We're going to put this little guy. That would be weird in there. So I think we'll need to use boxes for them. Um, so we have this one. Oh, and the bats. There is one. There is the other one. There is a tiny one that I can put here. And colorful boxes. Where are you? Let's see. I doubt that I have many black boxes left. I do have this one. Uh, and the tiny ones. And I don't think I have the big ones. No. Oh, I have this one. It's not bad. So, let's see. I think I'll have to, or it's not necessary because they're ghosts, so they're supposed to be um, see-through. there I don't know let's see going to put this one here and then this one slightly off and I think I'm going to bring one of the cats I just want to point out I, I just noticed this beautiful black cats but if you turn them look at them they're silver. It's just so beautiful. Um, I don't know whether you had um, a good view in there, but they are lovely if I could use them that way. Um, and you don't really need, they're so shiny um, to white anything out. That is perfect. Uh, they're going to disappear here, I think. Um, so maybe not. I can always try. Let's see. Get the, a little bit of the glue off. No, 
oh they're visible so I'm going to keep them um, together probably I have more so I love that this one is slightly squint but she will stay that way and I think I don't have any more big ones but I have a very square one and I think I want to do this for Monday because I have a few things to do or to start doing on Monday and I'm going to combine it this way So this guy can be here. Another box. Let's do this one. No, I think I want to leave it like so, and another one here. slightly squint this side okay um, there is nothing here but we're going to uh, we're going to continue with the rest of the decorations, like the stars and the bats. We have three bats on this side, three bats on this side. And these little stars, which I have um, already taken out, it was it would have taken me quite a long time to get all of them if I had to um, do it in camera. Um, they're very fiddly. It doesn't really matter where they they're supposed to go I could use them as um, bullet points for things to do of course and I might do uh, we can do on Thursday actually it's not a bad idea it's market day so I will have to a few things to do because I have my last guests of the year coming. Um, see, I can lift this because there is a cut here. There. Um, um, they're coming on uh, Friday, so. Thursday is going to be, um, I think I'll put that box there. Okay. Those are my only, I can put one here. Um, sort of stars as a bullet point. Um, 
You probably cannot see this side is out of view. And I want to use the whole sheet. And this is the last one. So um, that sheet is finished, which is great. So this is, um, I don't think this is necessary, but I want to put more boxes here. So for example, we can put this one here, which is going to be my dinner for that day. And actually, for some reason, it's not here, but I did pick up, <laughs> God knows where it is. Um, it's not behind um, a, um, a checklist, but it has this beard. Um, that is very funny. So I don't know. Um, so just thinking what else I can put here, a quote. Um, this is the, not the right one, let's see this one. Boar friends, but that's for, that's for something else. Halloween is magical. I don't think fabulous we have fabulous already uh, in black so let's go down spooky spells hug some kisses it's for a different spread um i think yeah oh we can put uh, Because they are so high up. Where is that? But I think it has orange, isn't it? It's closer to here, yeah. Spooky season. I think I'll grab one of these instead. Put it for Tuesday. And today, what else do we have? We only have two days in black. That is not very good to do, but it's not dissimilar to that. This one is closer. Uh, we have another board to do, and it has a bat. Perfect. Uh, okay, it's this color. So we can use our last square one Right, and I feel like something here. So let's see whether this modern meal has something. 
that could go in there. You got this. Choose joy. Choose joy is not a bad sentiment, but we're in the spooky season. So I have used these guys um, in a previous spread. So I'm just thinking that sweet and spooky. Mm, they are not sweet in here. So we have to look for something else. So back to this book, just to fill this here. Um, that's another to do that is a different color, um, but we don't want that. Hmm. Just the, I quite like the pinkish pop of color, so we might want to do something about it. Let's get spooky. And it's in grey. Yep. It's quite a few boxes. But I think I've used all the big ones and yeah, I think it will be time for a um, new colorful boxes book. Today is not a good day, uh, so I'm just going to put it back, check again, get it done, unbelievable. Yeah, that's not bad, we can, uh, We can uh, use that and cover the notch. Don't tear it, please. With so let's, let's see what we can find here. I have no idea how that happened, but um, super spooky. I think I could actually use one of these. This one. We're going to see whether it's, we're going to be able to do it. So, and it brings a little bit of gold now. So. Do this from this angle. And then I'm going to pick up my tweezers and use this little flag out. I doubt, but we can actually play. No, it's not big enough. So we have to rethink that. 
there is this plants. I forgot. So it's Halloween. So that's one, two, three. Perfect. So we're going to move it. we're going to hide that notch with three days till Halloween unbelievable so there you have it so Halloween one two three we have four five six we could I'll see where I'm going to put them because it's uh, already quite busy here. And um, if I have a space, which I highly like, it's highly likely that I'm going to have space. For example, I still need to um, write here and here. Um, today, Sunday. Um, I will find a space where to put, for example, six. I might put six here. I will see. So I will do the same in this spread, um, but I can use that specific number here and for Sunday, I could put it anywhere really. I could do it here on the roof. I'm just going to do this. So if I don't like it, um, I can remove it. And I pressed very lightly, so um, yeah, I'm uh, happy with it. I'm very happy with it. I normally steer clear of um, monochrome uh, in black and white, basically. Um, I do like monochromes in other colors, uh, but I normally don't do much um, of blacks and whites. Um, but I quite like it. What I'm going to do off camera is, um, before the picture, I'm just going to slightly touch up, for example. I'll just show you. Because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, and also, um, Mocha has been asking for some food. Um, if you haven't heard her. So yes, I just checked my phone because I got a notification. Um, it's an alarm clock actually. So I'm going to keep doing this off camera because I don't want you to suffer that. <laughs> um... And this is my final spread for uh, Halloween week. This is my very first Halloween week because I have done obviously a lot of them this month. And I will quickly show you because I didn't film it. Um, but um, this is my, uh, it just came off a little bit here. This is my, whoops. This is my Franken planner, and I have for my social media. I just finished this one, and I I did this one with um, Halloween magic from uh, Eco Park um, paper, which I got from Craftelier, 
um, it's lovely. It's it's quite thick. I still have quite a lot, and I will probably um, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I'm going to use them in uh, my uh, journal, which is this section, um, because um, I normally don't decorate it. I just uh, keep it clean, and I might use those there for the weeks of uh, October. Um, it depends. Um, if I have enough or not but it's lovely I, I really like it it's going to make it chunky but I don't mind that at all so um, yes um, I use also that uh, paper from them uh, which is leftovers from the uh, from the cover so um, I'm very very excited uh, about filling in this um, this week this last week of October and then uh, we shall start. I will go back to um, autumn spreads and um, that kind of thing. I have a couple of books that I haven't uh, used that I purchased recently, so I want to try them. And uh, but this is this is my first Halloween spreads for Halloween week, so I love it. Um, I absolutely love it, even though I'm, I'm not always thinking about a black and white um, spread, but I, I love this one. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment below what you think of this spread. Uh, hit the notification bell for my next video and I will see you on my next one. Happy planning, everybody. Bye.